Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for September 23rd, 2023, from Revelation chapter 10, verse 1. Then I saw another mighty angel coming down from heaven, wrapped in a cloud with a rainbow over his head, and his face was like the sun, and his legs like pillars of fire. Another mighty angel. We usually think of all angels as being the same, but in John's vision, some angels are mightier than others. Please note that this angel is also coming down out of heaven, which is the place of God. So we can assume that this angel comes with the authority of God. We don't know all the exact differences of the classes and abilities of angels, but keep in mind that each of us are also created differently, with different gifts, different abilities, different responsibilities, and different roles here on earth. This mighty angel is unique, especially with a rainbow over his head instead of the typical halo that cartoons often depict. Verse 2, he had a little scroll open in his hand, and he set his right foot on the sea and his left foot on the land. A little scroll, well, it is the content that really matters. But verse 11 may give us a little bit of a reason why it was a little scroll, because John will have to eat it. But one foot on the sea, one foot on the land is basically showing us that this message of this angel is really for all of God's creation. Verse 3, And called out with a loud voice, like a lion roaring, when he called out, the seven thunders sounded. The voice of this mighty angel is definitely mighty. Keep in mind that Jesus is the king or the lion of Judah, as the prophecy of Jesus fulfills being that concept of being the lion of Judah. Seven thunders sounded. Again, seven is a number of completeness referring back to the days of creation. So bottom line is, this one is definitely capturing your attention. Verse four. And when the seven thunders had sounded, I was about to write, but I heard a voice from heaven saying, seal up what the seven thunders have said and do not write it down. It may sound kind of strange. Seal it up? Well, God does have a purpose. So God is, so John is given the command not to write, but to seal it up. Keep it concealed for a reason. Verse 5, and the angel whom I saw standing on the sea and on the land raised his right hand to heaven. The right hand to heaven? Almost sounds like an oath. Well, yes, the mighty angel does have or is taking an oath, so to speak, by raising his right hand. And we'll find out what that oath is. Verse 6. And swore by him who lives forever and ever, who created heaven and what is in it, the earth and what is in it, and the sea and what is in it, that there would be no more delay. So the angel is basically saying this message is from God himself, the one who created the heavens and the earth. The message begins that there would be no more delay. Keep in mind, when God makes a promise, he is going to keep it. God's peace and many blessings be with you. And thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.